Right. See the clock counting down from 30 seconds. At the moment, Alex has only got five. One of the things that for all the competitors to watch out for is the ring televisions. The little television sets, which if you hit, will give you ten rings. Of course, that's a big bonus. Really, we're looking for about 30, and Alex is not going to get anywhere near that. Eight seconds to go, and he's only on 17. This is terrible. Maybe, maybe about 25, 30. Three seconds, two seconds. I can't see him get any more. It's like he's going to end with 23 rings. Now. Okay, off Gavin goes. Gavin is Mr. Cocky himself, and I just hope that his, um, his ability lives up to lives up to his attitude. Already 12 rings. You can think of the phrase. I could, no, I could. I was struggling there. Try not oh, to be too rude. There you go. 18, 18 seconds. He's already got 18 rings. I think he could do quite well here. Certainly surpassed with 23. That's, that's where good, they need to go. Good. 29. Good still 10 seconds to go. Doing very well. 35. Mm. This is more like what he's better. And he's got up there. 41 with four seconds to go. I don't think he's going to improve on that. Oh, no, he's got one more. 43. 43. Well done. Well, and that is right now. Two rings already, though. Only two rings, and there's only six, seven seconds gone. He really wants to be taking over the top, the top route. He doesn't want to go down there. Never mind, never mind. He's gone down there. 23 to go, save. 17 seconds. To... Oh, he's lost all the rings. Oh, no. He's got his work cut out for him now. I really must have got 10 seconds. 10 seconds. He's just got to collect as many rings as a 10 ring television set. That was good. 21. Come on, he only needs to go, save. He's got it. 24, 25. Brilliant. 26 rings. Alex, well done. Alex, back in the dressing room. You ready? As soon as you hear the bell, right now. OK, off James goes. 23 to be. Quite worried here if I was Alex, partly because he's got a very unfashionable haircut, partly because 23 is a very easily beatable score. James wants to take the top route there because you get more rings. Very cleverly very using well. the power up very well. He's already gone past that. 27, 40 seconds. Just goes to avoid getting hit, isn't he, now? He, yeah, just avoid. He could, he could actually stand there, although it would make very interesting television for us. So he doesn't. 27 rings, five seconds. He's quite safe. He's going through to the next round. And very rightly so, too. One. It's two. 27 rings. There you go. And in first place, we had Gavin with 43 rings. Second was James with first two stages of the Monaco Rally. Quite simply, the quicker they get through it, the more likely they are to go to the head-to-head. -head. Doesn't matter if they crash, doesn't matter if they skid. The car won't be affected, but they'll lose an awful lot of time. Well, there we have it. Neo Geo. I can't keep up. I can't keep up. Times are changing, boy. With all this stuff. Right. Let's crack on with it. Uh, let's have Gavin. Gavin, go and sit yourself down. It doesn't matter if they crash, then. doesn't matter if they crash. Just lose time. They lose a lot of time, yeah. Lose a lot of time. But there you go. But if you're quite ready, Gavin, <laughs> the game starts when you hear the bell, and that is right now. Off Gavin goes, like I said, on the first two stages of the Monaco rally. A bit of a skid, but he's online. Very uncharacteristic weather for San Francisco. A lot of snow. He made to actually move into a dirt track. That's sand. It's not sand. It's snow, Bob. It's snow, Bob. The rest of the cars are actually controlled no. by uh, the computer, and they do tend to block. And that was a very uh, complicated turn combination that Gavin just went through there. Moving now, that's the first stage. Moving on to the dirt track. Now, that's a breast of bridge he's just jumped over. Like I said, the best thing we can, he can do is not skid and not go out onto ooh, the, uh, ooh, the loose stuff. little jump up in the air, there. Another little jump out into the air. Coming up, I think, now to the end of the stage. Taking it nice and slowly, but quite steadily. He's 240kmh up in the top right there. Fox in the top left, that's what we can see. Coming up towards the end of the stage, any second now. He wants to be pushing the pedal to the metal, as I believe they say. The last combination here, taking it well, but it's going very wild on that last turn. That'll cost him time, as will that little run for that computer control truck. He's gone over with 57 seconds. There you go. What did he get? What did he get? 57 seconds. 57 Bob. seconds. Uh, is that good? That's not bad. Uh, good, not bad, but is it good enough? Let's have, please, Alex. And the game starts now. OK, up Alex goes. 57 seconds to beat. He really wants to stick to the track as much as possible. The tarmac gives him slightly more grip than the dirt track, but of course, there's not very much snow. Then the snow. Well, I still believe that snow bomb. I would have to have a little difference over that one. The car that Alex is driving is the same that all competitors will be driving, and it has an awful lot of grip Ooh. and medium acceleration. That will cost him time, bouncing off the uh, rock face there. Uh, Coming to the end of the first stage. stage there in 24, 25 seconds. Not a bad halfway time. Onto the dirt. 
He's keeping the road well, which is good. He's taking the inside line on all the curves. Another jump back onto the tail. That's good, that's good. 34 seconds. He's faster at this stage. There's another combination coming up, which could cause him some problems, but I don't think so, because he's, he's proving his work. Very good. Doing very well, actually. Avoiding all the other computer-controlled cars, which is the best. 46, 47. He's got it quick. His last combination. It's going to be very fast. He's going to That's going to cost him time. That's going to cost him serious seconds. He's coming up now. 55, 56 seconds. Whoa! How about one second? One second in it. So, 57 seconds, 56 seconds. James, come down, please. Basically, you've got to get 55 or 56 uh, or, or better than that to, to go through. You ready? Yeah. And the game starts now. OK, off James goes. 57 seconds, all the way to go into the head-to-head. -head. It's very, very close, close. 56 very close. 57. It's going to be a very close game, I feel, Bob, actually. And he's but going down the home straight, and he's got a big corner coming up now on the left-hand side, he's going home. past the snow. <laughs> I'll do a joke, and you can do the commentary. <laughs> that's going to cost him a lot of time, mate. He's skinning off back, could mean that he might that's, not get to it. Well, let's see what his split time is. Split time, look, give him about 24 seconds. He's just about one second down, which oh, will put him tying with Gavin. Yeah, though. He's going to get a big, powerful jump back onto the track and then not go off it again. He's going off on the dirty stuff an awful jump, lot, which yeah. causes him a lot of time because you don't get the grip. 37. The other two both lost time on the last turn, which he needs to avoid. But James is avoiding the other cars very well, which, of course, will save him a lot of time here. Yeah, 46, Coming up to the last combination just shortly. 48, oh. 9 seconds, got about 7 seconds to get in. He needs I to make a clean might... turn here. Oh, 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 did very well. He took oh. a bit of opposite lock there. 36, 37, he's 38. Under, he's, he's just missed it. Five, he's just missed it. Seconds, give it up. The winner of our penultimate game was Alex with 56 seconds, closely followed by Gavin with 57. But I'm afraid we're going to have to lose James with a score of 59 seconds. Well, that was close. That was great. What did you get in 58 seconds? So 56, 57. You can't get closer than that and, and not. Don't fold your arms. What's the matter with you? No wonder you can't drive a car with your arms folded. So, but, but you enjoyed yourself? Yeah, it's great. So what are you going to do now? Go back and practice? Yeah, definitely. And come back? No, shouldn't think so. <laughs> Had a good time? Yeah, it's great. Thanks very much. James, big round of applause. Come on, start with here. So now we have it. Now we come to the final round. The head-to-head, -head, man against man against machine. We're left with Gavin and we're left with Alex. And they're going to be going head-to-head -head now as we play round four. <laughs> so here we are, the big one, the head-to-head. -head. What are they playing? The head-to-head -head tonight, Bob, is, of course, Street Fighter 2, that classic fighting game. Each of our remaining competitors gets to pick the fighter of their choice. And then, of course, it's the best of three, the last one standing wins. But if it's a 2 nil whitewash, if one competitor beats the other twice in a row, we call it quits there. We're not into humiliation in this game, are we, Bob? Oh, yes, we are. <laughs> yes, we are. 2 nil is plenty humiliation enough. Great game, Street Fighter 2. You know it's blood, it's gore, it's... Everything that good video game playing should be. So, if I can ask you two gentlemen, please, to take your positions at the console. So, gentlemen, the game starts now. I believe uh, Gavin is playing Ken, who, of course, is wearing the uh, red dressing gown, and Alex is right in the white dressing gown. They're off already, and they're both starting with uh, the special fireball attacks. Fireball will counteract fireball. At the moment, Ken has a very, very slight advantage on Rye. Rye is over an uppercut punch and followed by a fireball. Of course, like I said, fireball will counteract fireball, so if you're quick enough, that's the best thing you can do. It's like Rye is coming back now. Ken, slightly less, the power bars, of course, are at the top there. Rye going in with the low kicks, is back to finish Ken off. Ken, Ken's gone. Ken's gone. Ken's gone. So Gavin is 1-0 down. Oh, First one nil to, to Alex. 1 0 to Alex. Get yourselves ready. And we start the second game straight away. Okay, we go with round two. That was quite a substantial uh, victory there for Alex. Both of them starting again with the fireball. Again, they're both going for it. It looks like Ken is slightly down. Get a fireball, but it was blocked very well. Jumping over fireball. Very clever move there. The fireball attack. He's really going down. It looks like he's on the ropes now. Ken attempting the dragon punch, but it isn't working. It very looks. Ken's very near doing that. We'll finish him off, but he blocked that well. 
Right collects a uh, fireball from Ken and blocking the next one. Fireball again, counteracting fireball. They need to get close to each other, use some high attacks, jumping over the fireballs, which is probably the best way. Ken's going to go any second now. Look, oh, that a marvellous hurricane kick there from Ken. Pulling it back, another hurricane to win this to stay. There's a fireball, but he's blocked there. He's, he's really hanging on to Grim Death, hanging in for all he can. His power's all gone. One more kick, and he's gone. He's gone. 2-0 to Alex. Well, despite...